now let's uh, talk about interaction of integrin based pathways and the traditional signaling um, uh, receptor the the pathways activated by traditional signaling receptors uh, let's take a look at that integrins and conventional uh, signaling receptors can work together the signaling pathways activated by conventional signaling receptors can increase the in expression of integrins so there are more integrins presented or uh, displayed out on the plasma membrane or extracellular matrix can be increased or uh, reduced while those uh, signaling pathways activated by integrin can increase the expression of conventional signaling receptors or ligands they bind so it goes both ways the con the traditional uh, conventional signaling system can affect uh, either the integrin amount of or the number of integrin molecules on the plasma membrane and conversely integrins can also result in differential expression of uh, conventional signaling receptors or their ligands the intracellular signaling pathways can also interact and reinforce one another some conventional uh, signaling receptors and integrins they can both activate ras map kinase pathway independently we have talked about ras map kinase pathway basically uh, these pathways also for example it is as i mentioned earlier it is mitogen activated protein that's what it stands for we have seen that uh, what it does it can uh, lead to cellular division so not only the conventional receptors can activate these pathways but also interaction of integrins with its substrate or its ligand can uh, also activate these pathways many cells in culture for example will not grow or proliferate in response to extracellular uh, growth factors that is uh, the receptor tyrosine kinases for example bind these growth uh, factors and they cause cellular division and also cell survival we can have all these growth factors present in the cell in a media in a dish but these cells will neither grow nor they will survive unless and until they are attached to ecm via integrin molecules endothelial and muscle cells even uh, they greatly depend upon uh, the the survival of these cells greatly depends upon signaling through integrins when these cells become loose or they they lose contact with ecm they come off uh, the tissue uh, they undergo a programmed cell death or apoptosis we have talked about that although uh, remember that blood is full of these different growth factors since these cells are no longer being signaled by integrin molecules the effect of all the growth hormones or these uh, signaling molecules becomes zero uh, unless these cells are attached to uh, the uh, the ecm via integrin molecules dependence on attachment to extracellular matrix for survival proliferation also ensures that cells will only proliferate or divide or live in their respective region uh, we have talked about this briefly too that uh, if cell comes uh, if, for example a liver cell comes off and goes to heart or brain uh, tissue it will not be able to grow there because the the quality of ecm there is different than what is for example present in liver attachment dependent cell survival is uh, greatly exploited during uh, embryonic development i'll show you an example of this here for example we have an embryonic tissue which has ectodermal cells these are the i will highlight uh, these two different type of cells which are presented here uh these for uh, for example are the endodermal cells these present outside these are the endodermal cells and the blue cells are the ectodermal cells at certain stage we need to generate a cavity here so what happens is that these endodermal cells they release a substance which results in death of the ectodermal cells present in the center so the this red arrow basically is showing the signal being released by these endodermal cells and as a result of these signals the cell present or these ectodermal cells they which are not attached to the ecm this yellow ring is basically ecm they die these ectodermal cells these blue ones they can withstand the signal and they do not die in response to the signal simply because they are attached to ecm and this basically attachments are attached to this ecm 
is basically negating the effect of this uh, particular signal which resulted in death of other ectodermal cells. So everything is same here. Just the difference here is these cells are attached and this attachment, the signal produced by this attachment is the effect of the signal is greater than the signal uh, which was origin which originated from endodermal cells which caused the other cells to go through apoptosis or programmed cell death. The yellow ring, ECM, uh, we talked about in this module. It's sort of a black box till now, but in the next few modules, we will discuss what this ECM is, what it is made up of, and how different proteins, adhesion molecules, stick to this uh, particular substance that would be in the following modules.